I'm honored to talk today with Dove Award winning singer songwriter Fernanda Ortega, whose music I've personally enjoyed over 25 years of your career. Thanks so much for coming on this Easter week. Oh, it's a pleasure and an honor. Thanks. We love having you here. And you've written this amazing project right now talking about the crucifixion of Jesus. Tell me about your inspiration behind this project. It's an interesting um, beginning. For my church, we have this huge projector at the front of the church. I mean, a huge screen that we project scriptures and then song lyrics. But when it's not on, it's just this sort of an eyesore up there. So I started amassing uh, images of sacred art from the internet that, that go back to medieval times all the way to contemporary painters. Mm. And so when we're not projecting those things, um, the lyrics and stuff, we've been projecting these, these images that are beautiful. And so now I've got, I've got them cataloged according to the church calendar, you know, Advent, Christmas, Epiphany, Lent, et cetera, on through the, on through the whole year. Beautiful. And so that's how I, that was the inspiration, the original inspiration behind the record. And the, the, the artwork for the record actually has several of those in the little booklet inside. It, it came out just beautiful, way beyond what I, even what I had imagined. Oh, that's always good. And I, and I know, you know, as you started meditating <coughs> on these themes and, and writing this, co-writing this, tell me about that process and what, it, what impact it had on you to really dive into these events. It was hard to stare at um, the passion of Jesus, to stare at those passages of scripture and to rehearse over and over again, because I have readings that go between the songs. So to, to say over and over again, the, you know, this bread is my body broken for you. This cup is my blood of the covenant. Um, I, I would get emotional and I'd have to walk away from it. I was recording the whole thing in my living room. Um, I have this really nice setup there. Um, so I was under the headphones for hours doing, the, doing those things. And it, it was difficult. It was moving. It was powerful. And it, and it made me see things in, in ways I hadn't before. If you think about one thing that you really <coughs> walked away with it, you said, you know, spending all that time meditating on what Christ did for us, that his death. I, now I realize this. Is there one thing that you really walked away with? Well, I think for the one thing that kept coming back to me was that Christ was so focused on um, what was ahead. Therefore, there's that passage that says, therefore I have set my face like a flint and I know that I will, I will not be put to shame. And he wasn't. And so many times I, I can, in those situations where I'm supposed to be pressing towards something, I will faint and, and give up instead of setting my face like a flint. Mm. I don't know, maybe that's a little vague, but it, it's, it seems like something that I kept coming to as I read those passages. I think it's so perfect because we don't really talk about suffering enough in the church. So sometimes when it comes, we're unprepared for it. But I think Jesus, in a sense, showed us a way to get through suffering. It's that vision of what he has for us ahead, that this, that this season of sorrow won't last forever. I kept thinking about that, too, because I think in churches, uh, I notice as I travel around the country that even the subject of the crucifixion is, is one that's avoided because it's very awkward. It's such a scandal. It's a very uncomfortable thing to talk about and to yes. dwell on. So putting this record out was, was a little bit of a, of a risk, I think. And I've, I've heard it from several people, you know, why would you make a whole record about the crucifixion? But it really is our beginning point, you know, the death, the death of Christ, the death of ourselves, uh, so that he can lift us to new life, you know. Mm, that's the new life that we're all waiting for. I'm so looking forward. You're going to right now go and sing a song for us. That's I'm right. going to let you go prepare. Okay. So we'll look forward to that. Thank yeah, you. Thanks. So now we are going to hear Prepare the Way O Zion with Fernanda Ortega and the Quintessence Ensemble. <laughs> 